Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial describes the basics of attachment defense. Attachment defense protects your organization from malware contained in file attachments. By default, all messages with attachments that match the default inbound policy route are scanned. You can apply attachment defense to specific policy routes on a global organizational level and also to policy routes on a per-rule level. Email attachments are successful in penetrating security holes within many organizations. The reasons are many, including price, trust factor, user exploitation, accessibility, and difficulty in blocking attachments. Attachment defense works using a seven-step process. First, attachment defense extracts supported file types from the email body. Next, the PDF prefilter looks for active content. The known suspect file receives a reputation score, while the unknown file is sent to the Proofpoint Threat Operations Center for further analysis. Next, a dynamic sandboxing of the file will occur in order to detect malicious content. The message is then delivered, blocked, or quarantined based on customer policies. Finally, the TAP Threat Dashboard provides an overall view of attachments and associated threats. Attachment Defense first hashes, then scans attachments for malicious payloads. The following file formats are currently scanned for malware by the Attachment Defense module. These file formats can also be scanned within the encapsulated files listed below. The Attachment Defense settings can be accessed by selecting the Email Protection tab, Targeted Attack Protection Module, Attachment Defense drop-down menu, and Settings page. The policy routes you restrict or disable on this page are global settings and apply to the entire organization. For example, if there is a group of users in your organization that should be excluded from Attachment Defense message scanning, create a policy route on the System Policy Routes page for that group and then add the policy route to the Disable Processing list. Attachment Defense Policies can be accessed by selecting the Email Protection tab, Targeted Attack Protection Module, Attachment Defense drop-down menu, and Policies page. To begin, the Proofpoint Protection Server includes a default Attachment Defense Policy with several rules that act upon messages based on predefined conditions. Within the default policy, there is a list of rules with corresponding conditions and actions. If a message attachment is checked and clean, the message continues to process through the filtering engines. If the message attachment contains a known threat, the message is quarantined. If the attachment reputation is unknown, the message is held while waiting for the cloud service to determine the reputation. The easiest way to create a new policy is to base it upon an existing policy. If no other policies exist, use the default policy start. To edit predefined rules, click the Edit Rule button for the condition that you want to change. When selecting from the delivery methods, you will notice that as the delivery methods change, the corresponding options also change. For delivery options, the Hold the Message while waiting for a result from the Cloud Scanning Service choice will hold messages in the Attachment Defense queue until an unknown reputation is known or until the timeout rule limit is reached. Once you're finished with the Options section of the page, click the Save Changes button.